Yes, viewers, welcome back. It's James Conner, the fast reporter, and we're going to make a trip out here to some galleries in Bushwick for a change. I'm going to try to pop into Interstate and see what's cooking. Hello. Well, this is a show by S Sophia Simbaldi. Titled Eye to Eye Delirium. And, uh, well, it looks like it's mostly wall sculpture. Well, let's start out looking at this piece. Viewfinder, Occurrence 1 2020. Silicone, rubber, black patinaed steel, ink and hardware. Okay, I kind of like the, uh, the off-white color of the silicone. This is View Kind Recurrence 2, 41. Let's see, by 29. So it is making me think a little bit of Swiss cheese. Do you find recurrence number three? I've got a group of Are these digital prints? Uh, no. Okay. It says right here they're digital photographs. And uh, I think they're each about 14 by 10 inches. This is 14 by 110 inches overall. More occurrences. Okay, let's take a look downstairs. Okay, the uh Downstairs gallery is always kind of uh, creepy. We've got some video programs. So this is an exhibition by Raza Kazmi, is that correct? Yeah. It's a video titled Dread Circumference, I believe. Yeah, another piece. 
things here. This is titled Dread Circumference Milk Edition 2020 Pasteurized Milk Vinyl PVC Tubing. Reminds me of my old yogurt maker. Well, of course, everyone can recognize this guy. This is untitled. Portrait of Noam Chomsky. Graphite on paper, 30 by 22 inches. So I've got another video here. I'm a witness mark. Home bank and car 2020. The little looks like a hair on the projector lens. Raza, are you bashful? My what? Are you bashful? Bashful? Yeah. No. Want to come over and talk about this piece? Sure. Um, I was looking at this when we came in and uh, it's like technically very interesting. You want to explain a little bit about it? Yeah, Phil. So, Just for unit number one. The moth link. A moth link. Well, I've had to come in and overdub this particular section. This piece is titled Gesture Unit Number 1, 2019, and it's using a moth wing piezo ultrasonic transducers, repurposed hardware, and code. Now, when I was talking to Raza, he said that I might get some uh, interference on my video. When you're there in the, uh, in the gallery, you can't hear anything. Um, Raza just said that he's been able to uh, lift various tiny little things, so he's got a, he's got a moth wing that he's uh, levitating there. He said that he'd actually gotten up to a point where he'd been able to levitate a dead house fly, but that's about the size of it. Uh, and you can hear the... <laughs> I had to tone down a little bit of the screeching, but you can hear the, uh, the interference on the video. Thanks, Raza. Congratulations. All right, so this is a look, a quick look at Dread Circumference here in the basement at Interstate by Raza Cosme. Thanks, Raza. Yeah. Now we're going to run in here to clearing. And we're going to look at a show by Conrad Dederbellier. This is that. Okay, I just... Uh, I kind of flipped a coin. I had no idea what we were going to be looking at today. I haven't read any reviews about any of the shows. So, you're going to be uh, 
discovering this as I do. Disenchanted and idle, 2019, powder coated steel, chrome plated steel and brass. Okay, I guess I should go get the press release. Well, I was gonna say, well, the press release doesn't really tell me a lot. Kind of looks like a uh, little booklet of poetry. Okay, just right off the bat, we're kind of looking at wall-mounted sculpture. A uh, certain amount of color on things. And, uh, yeah, industrial materials. It's titled Hobbyist as an Ethos 2020 Powder Coated Steel, Steel and Brass. Well, uh, this Chrome-plated plank of steel on the front makes me think of uh, Jacob Kasi, who I guess was uh, kind of highlighted as one of the stars of zombie formalism. But he did a lot of paintings that were chrome-plated canvases and were very shiny, kind of represented a certain aesthetic that was popular about five years ago. Uh, this is the most nomadic non-entity 2020. Okay, so we've got a lot of uh, philosophical existential buzzwords thrown in there. Powder coated steel. Kind of like the uh, the color things that Conrad is working with. This is an assurance that style matters. Okay, so one of his concerns is the uh, mountings, and so we've kind of combined a lot of industrial fixtures. This might be on the back of a truck that you could attach your trailer on with. Triumphalist global corporatism. 2020 and yeah I was thinking that uh, the incorporation of these shelving units makes me think of Heim Steinbeck one of the uh, most recognized members of the Neo Geo group kind of a second generation pictures artist and this is powdered coated steel painted wood and rope the placid assumptions underlying contemporary realism 2020 it's this 18 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter by six and a quarter. Powder coated steel and magnets. Well, there is a certain kind of uh, painting uh, consciousness. I wouldn't say that 
Conrad is trying to make paintings, but I'm sure that he's uh, kind of aware of the the history, the backstory of painted sculpture and various uh, ideas like that. A society that believes commerce is virtue. <laughs> okay, I think that might be based on some of Max Weber's uh, socio-economic theories. Powder coat of steel and plastic flowers. Kind of like this one, it's funny. It's like we got a, a lollipop with a Polished bronze. Work is what we have to do. Powder coat of steel, mere polished brass, brass and wood. Okay, I like his uh, hex bolts. bracket that's holding up the polished brass mirror is wood, as it looks like, uh, oak. So the, uh, yeah, the attention to the, uh, wall mounting also kind of recalls, uh, Robert Ryman. Quietly ringing in the changes. Okay, so that's kind of funny. We've got a little wooden ball attached on the back. As I said, so we've got these little passages of painting, little drips, and then uh, a lot of concentration on some of these industrial metal parts and also the, uh, the polished surfaces. Okay, that all brings back Jeff Koons and Brancusi and kind of high-tech space age technology. <laughs> Actually, I like the title on this piece. Technology has no Hippocratic Oath 2020. socket wrench in there. Semantic aphasia. Aphasia, is that the uh, psychological term for someone that experiences uh, sounds when they look at colors or something like that? This is powdered coated steel glass mirror polished brass. changed redistribution of risk. Well, okay, beyond the, uh, kind of the ready-made forms of the I-beams and the other various uh, mechanical things, I kind of like his uh, 
formalistic structures that he's using, like this uh, prop here on the wall. Looks like a, uh, oh, chunk of concrete that was cast inside a pot of some kind. Maybe one of the other pieces that's in the show. Within the context of no context, well, yeah, uh, there's a lot of uh, influences, echoes you could sort of pick out here when we start dealing with these box like forms. Uh, so we got to think about Don Judd. It's a whole kind of post-minimalist uh, group of artists who are playing with these kinds of things. An experience defined, it's defined by its polarizing incoherence. Okay, so yeah, he's... Uh, Certain way, these are very poetic, and uh, the titles are kind of uh, like poetry. It's titled Human Complete. Powder coated steel and painted wood. It's 24 and a half by 29 by 6. And even the little props have uh, come in for some artistic coloration on there. administrative separation, another kind of box form. Yeah, I could probably go through and uh, categorize at least four of the different uh, little brackets he's using to bolt these pieces onto the wall. You know, with the use of the, the I-beams, the concrete, and some of the other things, there's also kind of a uh, reference to architecture. See, this might be one of my, or one of the more interesting pieces for me. First of all, I like the, uh, the blue. This is titled, Not to Accuse, Not to Prosecute, But Decide, 2020. of uh, tricky little things happening behind the scenes here. I like him uh, putting these very kind of nice and rococo curly cues that are brightly colored within the box and you can't see that unless you come up and stick your head around the corner. Another nice piece, operating outside the compromised arrangements of most sensible adult life. Okay, that actually looks like the cap that would be on top of a uh, oxygen or propane canister of some kind. Maybe a little, I don't know what that is, a mustard jug? Ceramic. Again, I think this is a nice, uh, nice color thing. 
Yeah, so uh, I've got this kind of OD green wall plate that's bolting it on there, the light mint green I-beam here. And it's interesting the way the, uh, the polished brass kind of reflects those colors, but gives it a, a golden tint. adjusting to life. Powder coat of steel and painted wood. Okay, we're gonna wrap up our little Bushwick trot. with Amiably Skeptical Face 2019. Powder coated steel, chrome plated steel. Okay, so that looks like some uh, ceramic vase. I was thinking, uh, you yeah, know, if you saw this bolted up in the street, you would probably uh, run up and expect it to be some kind of an emergency telephone box or something. This is that. An, an exhibition of new works by Conrad Dido Blaybeer. Dido Blaybeer, excuse me. Uh, here at Clearing. You can like this, subscribe, share, post it to all your social media sites, and you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. And as always, folks, we just ask you to say, after 15 years, thank you, Kate. Oh, thank you. Thank you.